Hello everyone, welcome to JewishFunk.com. We're here at the Shem Speed Winterfest in New York City. Let's take a close look. Some of your musical influences. Rip Shlomo and uh, Bob Marley, Daniel Waro, Anna Peters. Uh, Jewish uh, Circus. <laughs> and Shoshana Damari. And Shoshana Damari, of course. Yoram Gaon. I got many, many. <laughs> More from uh, the like uh, Algerian music and Moroccan music, uh, Turkish, Beta Migdash, of course, uh, roots music. Yeah, same here. I'm also pretty influenced by all these types of music: Middle Eastern, reggae, African. But I also bring in this influence of heavy metal that I that's really a part of me as well. And so I bring that energy into it, and together we, you know, it's a beautiful fusion, you know. Of, uh, and, and and how did you all get together? Uh, 
So, ba- ba- yo, yo, basically, we, we met on the street, most of us. We know from Jerusalem, from the streets of Jerusalem. We met uh, together on the street and with Rafi and with Eliyahu. I want to say that the vibe of Jerusalem, you've been to Jerusalem? Of course. Yerushalayim. So, come to Yerushalayim, people. The vibe in Yerushalayim is each each one brings like so much energy from wherever it comes. So you feel the you feel the music, you feel the energy, and you can meet so many people. It's like basically a Facebook walking area. You can meet everyone on the street, and we feel by by the music and by the inspiration of the Holy Land of Beit Hamikdash of the music of the Eron uh, Levi. The Levites. the Levites and Beit Hamikdash. That's what we're trying to bring down, and bring down with whoever we play. When we play on stage, we're trying to bring all the people who are around to come and play. We have a festival. We have a festival in the summer. We bring like 2,000 people. We bring people from abroad to come and jam in the festival. <laughs> This is Jerusalem. To our days, Jerusalem is a mix, such a mix of cultures, nations. You sit there, you know, in the middle of the street, you see people from all around. You just catch the vibes, you know, feel the vibes. And that's what we're trying to, you know, to give through the music. Because the music is beyond words, you know. Music is much deeper. And uh, we grew up, each of us, from, from a very different background. I'm from Reunion Island near Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. I made Aliyah, I came to Yerushalayim 12 years ago. I was the age of 16. So I grew up with, uh, with uh, African beats, you know, Indian sounds, a lot of reggae. <laughs> about like there's so many different rhythms there's so many different feelings in your in your songs how do you bring like how do you bring those those emotions and feelings into your songs and, and infuse it with Jewishness uh, what I do is I put I put my hand on the heart I look around I feel the people and we start singing <laughs> yeah <laughs> מה מביא לך את התחושות הפנימיות של הניגונים? You got another question then? Yeah, so you have so many different instruments. You have shofars, you've got uh, these, you got drums, you've got, uh, you got the, I don't know what it was, like a, uh, a hookah pipe connected to uh, a little kazoo. Like, how, how, tell us a little bit about some of the instruments. <laughs> As uh, of the instrument, it's uh, it's from. I have uh, some instrument that I, I I get them from uh, everywhere in the world. One of them it's uh, Karkabush. I bring them from Esawira in Morocco, and uh, our influence is also like uh, Arabic and uh, you know Edot Amizrach. What do you say? Okay. The 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 shofar. I found the unicorn on the way here. And I asked if I can borrow his show for you know for the for the show. I, I I wish I wish I can bring my own drums to every show you know we go in the world. But you know, but it's it's it, it keeps it interesting because every day we play. I I I personally every these guys they play on, on their own instruments, but I get to play on a, on somebody else's drums every single night of you know of these tours. It's like really keeps it interesting and different and challenging, but uh, cool, you know. As you can see, it was a fantastic show. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching. <laughs>